Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and it's time to play a nice, lovely game of what the hell was I doing in this game the last time I played it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the file I was using. It all looks so familiar. Or not. But you know, we're gonna make it work. Let's take a look at everything. Alright, so if I'm recalling correctly, let's see. Well, where is the warp room? Is it over here? I think that's it. Like I said, it's been a little while, so... Alright, just remembering everything that everything that's that I've done so far. Swipe, 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 down, down. Cool. Cool. There's my block button. Alright. Yeah, like I said, it's been a little bit. But I do know that I I'm very much ready to go up to the church here. And yeah, Bridge of the Three Cavalries. But I also know that I'm that I'm ready to explore other things. Already been there. I'm also trying trying to remember is this Yeah, I think I remember that this particular place was a little too high level for me right now. But we're gonna explore it for a moment. See if I see if I like the things that it's showing me. Also train. Yeah, I don't think I can go up from there, at least not yet. Ooh, those guys hit hard for little basic enemies. Yeah, I don't think I can actually kill them, so screw it. in the world is that? It's actually really nice. So using that, using that prayer will take me back to the last one of those altars that I prayed at. You know what? I'm I'm down. I can dig it. Go away, conquistador slime. been up here so I think there might be more to do over there so why am I going to the right just to, just to make sure that I've checked everything off my list We're just going to drop down. Let's see. 
This leads up to where the resting place of the sister. We've already done that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep swinging this sword over here, and if you walk into it, it's your own fault. That hurt. That hurt too. How much health do you have, you crazy person? Okay, well, I'm noticing that there isn't really any further that I can go. Like, I can just jump out there, but I'm pretty sure I'll just end up, you know, hitting the ground below. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave here. You know what, that works. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm out of here. Alright, so then I am going to check out the other things in this area that I haven't checked out already. Ow. Okay, not really ow. That was, it was just like a minor annoyance, but still. So, I think... Yeah, I see what I need to do. Or rather, I see where I need to go. I might need to do something completely unprecedented. Hey. Hey. Hey, I told you. You thought you were safe just because you were at a distance? Silly Wraith. Don't you know? I draw circles. No, I don't need to spend any extra. I think I've got everything settled, so we just need to keep going. And once more to the right, hopefully. Which would work out just fine, except for there's a big locked door in my face. And that likely has to be unlocked from the other side, so... Now, it becomes a question of how do I get there? And is it at all helpful right now? More than likely, I get there from here, but what do, what do I need to get through there? 
I'm vastly overthinking this. My only real option is probably just to go here. And apparently there's a door over here in Mercy Dreams that I haven't checked. But is it anything I can check? Is it worth my time to go looking at that right now? Oh, I'll tell you this much, it's not worth it to stay here, so get me out of here. Yeah, I will just straight up say I'm not entirely sure where I should be going. I feel like there's plenty more to find in the desecrated cistern, but do I don't I don't think I have what I need to go to go get that stuff. So maybe What is in here? I'm kind of I'm kind of reminding myself of the lay of the land, just so I have some idea of what's going on. Bring the rest of the boat. Okay, well you don't help. So if I go down, over, down, over, this is the elevator shaft that takes me there, but... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, any of that. It's just a matter of how. How, how I do that. Yeah, it's... Both of the... Yeah, how, I, how I do that! Makes me think... There is another way to get there, obviously. And I'm just about 100% certain that you don't just jump, because I'm pretty sure you don't survive that. So, let's go over and then all the way down there. Down and down. Hey, well that much I still remember. What was in here? I already got that. Alright, I look I know that the fast travel spell is going to be a big help, is that that's just going to make all of this so much easier. Alright, I need to be able to get in from there. Now, didn't I find something that made me immune to that poison? So I should be able to do that now. Hold on. That's not a door. I actually have to go up and around. Ugh. 
damn Metroidvania games. Why do you have to be so sprawling? I kid, of course. I generally love the flow of the av of the average Metroidvania. Or, you know, the word that they tried to change it up to, which was search action, which is so generic that it puts me to sleep just thinking. Yes, I am just being lazy right now. Or rather impatient. I don't have time to wait on you bastards. And I know I can't necessarily reach the treasure chest down there because I need to be either either be able to do this like weird high jump. Okay, not treasure chest, but you get the idea. I need to be able to either like high jump or like walk on water or something. I have not yet come across the ability that I need to get that. Which it might just be the classic double jump, who knows. All I know is I can't get it right now. Ow. Alright, so far so good. Ah, oh, and I need the same thing to get there, so, um... Yeah, even though I'm immune to the poison, I still can't do anything here. Alright, I... I tried, get me out of here. Alright, looks like at the moment I don't really have much that I can do, at least nothing that I've seen. The last thing that really set me off was that there seems to be something in No Mercy that I missed. All of this, of course, in an attempt to try to remember what the hell I was doing in this game. Why did I just come right back here? Now looking at it, I had a much shorter way that I could have taken this. God damn it. Come on, brain, you're failing me. Alright, so basically just go as far right as I can, at least until I get to another root shaft. There is a cherub up over here, apparently, that I should be able to reach. At least I would like to be able to reach it. But, oh, let me guess. Because there's because it's a waterlogged room, I need that same ability that I need for the other three things that are in this area. Other two things. And you piss off. Okay. 
So whatever it is that's going to allow me to jump higher out of the water is something that I really desperately need. All right, so now where do I go from here? Yep, so here. Apologies that I'm opening the map a little bit too much for your taste, but remember, I have no idea where I'm going, so I need the reminder. Another pre du Might as well use it. Hello, sir. It's nice to see you again in such good spirits, too. Right, so there's a pre du there. And there should be another door right over here. So hey, I'm um, question. How come I never... How come I didn't go to this place? No world. How did I miss this? Or was it literally not available until right now? All right, well, whatever the case may be, let's explore. I found something I can do. There was something up there. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Well, I'm happy I found this, but this does lead the question of how do I get over here now? I'm guessing the answer, same as always, is keep moving, dumbass. Maybe go to that one area that you're supposed to go to right now. Which involves going up there. All right, so we got a bit of climbing ahead of us. Kind of forgot about those guys a little bit.
Hey, come over here. Nice. All right, not a big fan of the flagellants. Neither am I a big fan of that idea that you can, like, whip yourself and draw your own blood in order to repent for your sins. It's, it's, it's too barbaric. And again, much of... Huh? Much of the old ways were quite barbaric. I'm not here to be a historian or anything, but trust me when I say that things were not were not pretty back in the old days. Some some things aren't exactly pretty now. Mostly, mostly like the idea of what of what's going on in the world and where things are going. But I mean, this isn't exactly a political or a philo philosophical channel, or is it? Sorry, I'm literally just making sure I'm going the right way because it's so easy to, in my mind, to get lost. Stone. What does that do? Oh, I guess I get to see. Increases dodging distance. Interesting. Oh, I just realized I have another knot of rosary rope that I can fill. Dodging cooldown. Literally just protection from lightning. So low health equals higher defense. Oh, eh, protection from fire. Can block from it, can block attacks from behind. Interesting. So that allows me to see enemy health bars. I don't know what the knot of hair is supposed to do. Anyway, for now, let's put that on. I don't know what exactly it does, but if it's just an attack power increase, I'm okay with that. Then again, I don't know. Ow. Okay, you guys are jerks. Here we go. Oh, hi, it's you. Sister, I know you are there. Even if I can't see you, hear my plea. After your departure, it is now my turn to prove I'm deserving of our captain's trust. I will not fail, Chrysanta. And may the greatest of pains devour me if I let the penitents through this door. On your guard, penitent one! Ah. 
<laughs> Perpetua said no. Ah, that elusive light. It can't be her. Or maybe it can. Is that true, sister? Is this really the sublime light of your virtue? Maybe it is. So. Or maybe someone just flicked the lights on and off really fast. You have received the much esteemed and blessed favor of my sister. Have you seen the size of my helmet? Of course I have. With her blessing, she has given you the ability to hear her noble voice. Full of grace. Why, yes. Penitent one. Meet me in the chapel where guilt was given shape. In the where chapel? you were anointed the penitent one, and where you knelt for the first time. It will be in this remote place that my sister will hear my plea and will send her voice to me once again. So like way back? Toronto to my sister. Okay. Don't know what that does, but sure. All right, let's see. All right, let's... Hey, that's got a vertical hitbox. I wonder if that can hit that cherub. Or just leave it, leave it to something linked to Perpetua to be lightning-based. But, alright. So, next time I find a warp room, I will go back to... Go back to the starting point of the game and take care of that. I feel my blood turning into that sap. And my aged skin into reddish bark. Ferris Tree. Alright. It's a door! Oh, well, that didn't take long. So it's like back in this room, I guess? Let's go have a look. I'd like to point out that this is now further than I've been on my first file, and yeah, feeling feeling pretty good about things. I'm just hoping that Blasphemous 2 is just as much fun, if not more so, perhaps. Everything I've seen about that game looks pretty solid. Well, I mean, that's not quite what I thought was going to happen, but I'm not displeased with that result. That's something about the chapel where guilt, something, 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 dark side. Maybe what I'm looking for is up here. Yeah, he made it sound like I was going back to where the where the game first started. Hey. Yo, what's up with the no platforms?
A, um, I'm having a hard time reaching this platform here. There we go. Oh, here we go. Virtuous penitent one. This was the place where your sword was born of guilt itself, bringing pain to the flesh as the soul could suffer no more. Also dark, really. The voice of my sister, may the glories protect her, recited verses to me as tender as they were wise, her words revealing a different destiny for you. Oh, and for you, because otherwise I would have killed you. Further away, although not in distance, woven in shadows, though full of light. Man, what's up with all the riddles? I have been guarding this key for a long time now. Key grown from twisted wood. Oh, that's the neat. door behind which lies that which the holiness itself condemned to eternal reclusion. I have no idea what any of that means. But I no longer have the power or the words to describe it. Head for the library of the negated words. There you'll find the keeper of keys. Although the one I am entrusting you with is missing from his collection. The king of keys, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Head for the library of the negated words. Library of the Negated Words. All right, I will have to remember that for the near future. All right, actually making a decent amount of progress this time around. All right, so why don't we make this a little easier on ourselves? Swoosh. We're back, baby. It's you, Patio of the Silent Steps. Those you have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras, foundling siblings who went on to be part of His Holiness Guard. Ooh. So his name is Esdras. It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. And so it seems that happened. Or twisted are the paths of the miracle. Well, we agree on that much. And another preview here. Alright, let's go back and make sure we didn't miss anything fun. Okay, well, no, no going this way. All of the dawning. Sounds neat. Hello, what are you? Quicksilver. Oh, nice. Is that mean I can go back to mow and get and upgrade my flasks? That is what the quicksilver is, right? Well, I mean, the only only real way to find out is just go talk to him. Yeah, I think it just go there. Oh, I also I can also drop another bone off here.
The bones thank you for bring the bones before me. Understood, kind of. Obviously, it's just to open that pathway, but you know, I get it. Let's go talk to Bull Cut over here. Oh, I need seven thousand tears of atonement. Okay, I don't have anywhere near that much, so um, I'll be back. Bring me the quicksand. Yeah, that's definitely something to think about. I need to. <laughs> Need to fork over 7,000 Tears of Atonement? Good lord. Alright, well, here's hoping I find a good place to farm that up. Until, uh, until or unless another path presents itself to me, I am just going to go this way. Oh, hey, Mr. Ropes is gone. Bye, Mr. Ropes. Yeah. He's worth a decent amount. Oh, it seems like there's other ways um, through this room as well. At least, we're, at least I'm getting to some combat now. I feel like I was missing a small part of the game. the ranger. And we get to go up here now. It's a very vertical, vertical area. I am okay with that. Hey. You know... Come back. Come back. There. Okay, I actually need you to go away so I can reach those other platforms. How do I get you to go away? Hey, do I need to like temporarily unequip this? Freebies. More Quicksilver. Alright, Lord only knows how much the next one's gonna cost. Oh, 
don't worry, Penitent One. That one won't be so expensive. It will only cost the very contents of your ever-loving soul. Oh, and $14.99 plus shipping and handling. Okay, so I'm going to mark this room because it seems like there's stuff here that I can't get just yet. Now I can't remember what exactly was up there that was so appealing. So allow me to remind myself so that I can remember for later. Oh yeah, I just need to be able to reach that ladder. Alright, cool. Alright, back down we go. Alright, I'll put that back on. At least I didn't hit the spikes. That would have just made me upset. Also, the music here is just really creepy, and yeah, it's mostly ambient sound, but sometimes that ambient sound is everything you need. Ah, thank you kindly, sir. Thorned symbol. Hold on, what is that? Protects the wearer from contact damage. I like that. see how to get there. Olive seeds. Oh, I think I know what I do with those. Hey! You triggered me! You made me think that was all a solid platform, but only a part of it was. For shame! There we go. Now I can reach this. Luca the Tailor. Alright. Another bone, some olive seeds. Things are looking uh, things are looking up around here. Oh, hello. Hey, I hit that. Hey, it's you again. Penitent one, heed my confession. Cowardice taketh root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle. Grievous? Who are we pilgrims, if not sinners, who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances? I mean, being a pilgrim is not easy. Oh, let my bent back cover my tears. Penitent one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. Alright, well, admit. What the fuck are you?
Alright, does that help? Those screams filled my soul with fright. Thou hast purged my fears and helped this poor pilgrim again. We have chosen different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Wherever it is, near or far, in this life or on the other side of the dream, merciful be the heart, penitent one. Big toe made of limestone. I think it's sad that he keeps calling himself a sinner. It's like, what? Why do you? Why do you feel that to be the case? Adds extra thrust wall in the air. What do you mean? Adds extra thrust wall in the air. What does that mean? You have confused. You have confused my soul, sir. Eh, maybe I'll just look it up later. Mother of mothers. Ooh. Oh, hey, I know you. Hey, how do I get to that? How, how I reach that? How I reach that? Maybe that's what they mean, is that <laughs> that little bounce goes further. Should have just done that right away. Oh, hey. All right, I would like a fast travel point. You're tall. No. Of the three worlds. Here is where the first miracle took place. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. Why would you ever ask for that? That's like, yeah, I know I'm I know I'm poor and I can't afford rent for rent or food for me and my family, but could you hit me with some more late payments, please? I could really use some more fees on top of my already high financial burden. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed hoping to be heard. And in turn fucked over everybody. He prayed for pain. So he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then the miracle manifested itself. I must say, if you're suffering that much guilt, that I get it, but don't impose that on everyone else. His roots grow and twist over his arms and legs, but not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Okay, but what about literally everyone else? Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it, and all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Worlds. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. And that seems like such a crazy reason for the miracle to even be a thing. Every year, from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us even though it probably should for twisted are were and will be the paths of the miracle 
The Knot of the Three Worlds. Here is he placed up. He prayed. Oh, I, every you're just repeating the same thing. Tree that's every year for twisted. Oh, is there a fast travel point around here? I would like very much for there to be a fast travel point around here. Maybe this is a fast travel point. Or maybe not. Let's see what else is in this area. I have a few minutes. Well, here's the library. Feels like I should be near a fast travel point. Oh, I'm dumb. No. What a goofy way to meet your end. Okay, that was some reckless fighting. I should be more careful. Hey, you're not the smartest guy in the world, I'll tell you that much. Oh, hey, it's Rammy Face. to strike every wall just in case. This guy's got like a Pope Scepter. But, I am a good deal closer to that 7,000 now. I guess I thought that would take a lot longer to get than it really did. Hmm, pardon me. Hey, you get your shivs out of here. And we got... Consecrated Amethyst. Interesting. Protection from magic. All right. Oh, whoops. Why do I keep thinking that RB is confirmed? What was I playing recently where that was the case? Ah, Lord Helmet. Let's make sure I'm not about to kill myself here. Oops. 
here I am thinking the block button is the Y button. Jeez. All my controls all twisted. Just wants me to execute every one of these like crazy bishops. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Smack. Smack. Yeah, who needs torches? Whee! Oh, got it. June the prostitute. Oh, well. Oh. Wonder what her great sin was. Oh, hello, guilt man. Yo ho, Lord Helmet! Yes, I admit this episode is running a little long, but I'm also enjoying the idea that I'm actually finding things. Jeez, it just takes one dash strike. It's like, EXECUTE! Like, do I really have to execute every enemy? Come on, game. Ooh. Arc Cathedral Rooftops. Alright, well, I still haven't found a fast travel point, but I think that'll do for now. So, next time I come back to this, we've got the olive seeds to give to the medicine guy, and plenty more exploring to do in this new area. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. I hope you're having a good time with this as much as I am. It's been a while since I've done an episode of Blasphemous. It felt pretty good to jump back into the old Metroidvania boots. So that having been said, thank you for spending your free time here with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be. And I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and take care, everybody.